Hey guys, so today we're doing Lemonatomy on Greg. Greg, say hi, hi. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the pectoral girdle. Does anyone know what's in that? No. Okay, so there's three things to keep in mind. So there's the clavicle, <clears throat> the scapula, and the head of the humerus. So if you remember these three things, that's the pectoral girdle. Now let's move on to the scapula. So there's actually a couple things to note about this. So on the, this is the scapula. So there's a couple of things that we should know about the scapula. So over here, there's the supraspinous fossa over here. And then, so it's this area. Then over here, there's the infraspinous fossa. Okay, so over here we have the spine of the scapula. And over here we have the acromion. So let's move on to the humerus. Hey, okay, we have the lesser tubercle of the humerus. And this, on the more lateral side, is the greater tubercle of the humerus. And if you look over here, I'm not gonna make that sound <laughs> Okay. And um, in between, if you look closely, there is like this groove, and that's called the intertubicular sulcus. So this is the head of the humerus, that's the shaft. And then if we move down, here is the medial epicondyle. And why is it medial? Because it's medial. And then over okay. here, <laughs> and then over here we have the lateral epicondyle. And then if we turn Greg around, and we look over here, you can see, so this is like the elbow joint. What kind of joint is that? Marley. Marley, do you know what joint that is? Well. The elbow joint. Hinge? Yeah, it is hinge, like a door. So what's over here? What is this? It's it's kind of like a it's kind of like a pit, right? So it's like it's it's a fossa, the olecranon fossa. Nice. And this is the olecranon. Makes sense. It articulates to it. It's perfect. So moving on down the arm. Oh, now we're at the forearm, and the forearm is made up of two big bones. So if Let's say Greg is shaking your hand, right? Yeah. Greg is shaking your hand. So the bottom part of Greg's arm, uh, of Greg's forearm, the bottom part of Greg's forearm is the ulnar bone. And the one on the top is the radius. The radius is also wider at the wrist. Next, we have the carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. Okay guys, so we've done upper limb anatomy and now we're gonna move on to lower limb. Okay. <laughs> so, we had the pectoral girdle. So what's down here? <laughs> Alicia, do you know? <laughs> no, I don't know. Now we're gonna move on to the pelvic girdle. All right, so the pelvic girdle is also made out of three main like bones or compartments and and these are the hip bones the sacrum and the coccyx thank you Marley. okay so what makes up the hip bone like that's so general right yeah i know i got you we're getting there so over here we got the ilium the ischium so you can see over here we have the ischial tuberosity. So when you sit down on your butt and you feel it's kind of bony, then this is what you're sitting on. And then there's one more thing, and that is, do you know Alicia? I'm not gonna tell you if I do. <laughs> Pubis. And okay. And the last <laughs> Keep go. And the last thing to know of the hip bones is the pubis. So that's here. Does anyone know what this pubic is? Symphysis. Pubic symphysis. And what type of... <laughs> what type of joint? What type of joint is it? What type of joint is this? There's primary. There's tertiary. What's in between? There's no tertiary. <laughs> no, there's no it's secondary cartilaginous. So now let's go on to talk about more in depth about these hip bones. So over here, if 
you look closely, can you zoom in a little? This is the, you guessed it, Iliac Crest. That's right, right. And over here, we have the anterior superior iliac spine. And what do you think this is? Well, it's not superior to this, is it? It's inferior. So it's the anterior inferior iliac spine. So now we're going to move on to the back of it. So this is the back of the ilium. And what can we identify here? Well, this is a posterior view, right? So this would be the posterior superior iliac spine. And this is thus the posterior inferior iliac spine. So here is the ischial spine, and this is the ischial tuberosity that we already talked about. So if you look closely over here, there's actually a hole here on both sides, and that's called the obturator foramen. Alicia, do you know what that's for? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> what is it for? Marley, what is it for? What is what for? The obturator foramen. Oh. Uh, to uh, lessen the weight of the pelvic girdle. Okay. So the obturator foramen is here to lessen the weight of the pelvic girdle. Okay. And then, and then over here, we have the femur and the femur attaches to the hip from from this which is a ball and socket joint and can anyone does anyone know what this is this this part that it articulates to in between no it's called the acetabulum okay guys so alicia my camera woman is not here right now and she had to go back home and Marley's gone too. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna power through this and we're gonna finish because we're almost there. So next we have the greater tubercle of the femur as well as the lesser tubercle. Can you see that? So like the humerus, the femur also has a head and a shaft. Okay. So then over here, we have the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle, the medial condyle, the lateral condyle, the patella bone. Does anyone know what kind of bone that is? It's a sesamoid bone. Good job for all of you that knew that. Over here, we have the fibula and the tibia. Good job, everyone. So remember, that's a really, really basic idea of all the bones that we have to know for limbs so far. There's a lot of other maybe little landmarks and um, processes or tubercles that I may not have said and that you should know. Um, but yeah, that's a really basic idea and I hope that it really helps because we have Greg over here and you can always refer back to it with those other things that you might want to know about and maybe like point them out yourselves because we might not have these models over the break so we can't really use them to study. So that's the main idea of this channel is to be able to kind of look back at these models and be able to identify everything on them when we come back for maybe Aussies and just have a general knowledge and idea of where everything is. So putting it to a picture, putting it to a video. Greg is here, he's really helpful. So hope you guys like this video and please subscribe and like and comment below on what else you'd like to know. Thank you for watching. So what else do we have to know? Do we do this? No, we have to know this stuff. Oh, okay.